Hello there, party people. Guess where you're at? Week number three. That's pretty good. That means that you have found yourself committed to getting fit and finding a new you in this new year. Awesome. So just as a reminder, we're doing six exercises. Remember, this is a total body workout. Each exercise that we do will be 50 seconds long, followed by a 10 second break in between moves. Once we finish all six exercises, that is when we get to take a one minute break before moving on to the next round. So let me tell you what we're gonna do today. We're starting with a standing side crunch, followed by a pulse lunge, shoulder flip flop, crisscross arms, reverse flies, Good mornings. All right, people, so it's time to get fit with Taj. We're starting with our first exercise. So we need one dumbbell for the standing ab crunch. Take the weight, put it up in your hand and over your head. Bringing the elbow up toward the knee and the knee to the elbow. So notice that I'm not crunching down to the side like this. I'm keeping the torso nice and long. All the weight is on the opposite side of my body. I'm thinking about squeezing through the obliques, keeping it tight, keeping it sexy. You got this. Last thing to pay attention to is my foot. Notice that my toe is just gently tapping the floor, right? Put the foot down easy. So we're really in control of the body. We're almost there. Just a few more seconds, a few more times together. You can do this. Come on, hang in there. Ready and rest. Whew. All right, we get to put that weight down and we're moving on to our second exercise, which is called a pulse lunge. We're bringing our hands on our hip. We're gonna step one leg back and we're literally just pulsing right here in a steady position up and down in the lunge. Now remember the lower you go, right? The more you're gonna work the quads out, the more you're gonna work the glutes. But if you're taking care of your knees, you can keep it a little bit less of a bend. And if you want to, you can go a little faster, which of course brings the heart rate up and therefore burns some more calories because whatever we do, it's all about the calorie burn. So we're halfway there. Hopefully you are starting to feel a little burn in the quads. I know I am. Don't worry, the other leg will come along in the second round. Stay with me. Come on, yes, it's burning. I know, I feel it. I'm doing it too, but you can do it. And ready? Set, rest, whew, you made it. Okay, so now from here we need to pick up some dumbbells. And they probably wanna be a little light. So we're bringing the arms out towards the sides of you like a T. And we're literally gonna turn the palms up and down. This is called a shoulder flip flop. Now, if for some reason these are the only weights you have and these weights are getting heavy, just put them down because your arms do weigh something. So notice that I'm not just turning the wrists. Can you see that? You want to literally turn through the shoulders so that the entire arm is moving. I'm standing up nice and tall. I'm pulling my belly toward my spine to protect my back. And I'm wondering how much longer, but you can do it. Come on, stay with me. Sexy shoulders, people. Summertime in mind, you know, bikinis, sundresses, all that good stuff. Just a few more moves and we're almost to the end. And you're done with this. Ready? Yes! Whoo, that was it, last one. We made it. So you get to put the weights down, unless they're super light, like if you're using those one pound weights out there, you can keep those in your hands. But I'm gonna put those down for now because they're five pounds. So first move, arms go back, open wide, squeeze the shoulder blades, cross one, cross two, cross three. Open, one, two, three, open. One, two, three, open, good. Now, as you squeeze back, you wanna think about squeezing the shoulder blades together. You also wanna think about squeezing the chest muscles, right? So we're working through the pecs. For my ladies, that keeps the girls lifted. For my gentlemen, that keeps the pecs strong. Yeah, squeeze, one, two, three, and back. One, two, three, and back. Good, we're almost there. Nice work, everyone. I'm very proud of you. You got this. Just a few more seconds. Good, and rest, Whew, last one. 
Okay, we have to pick those dumbbells up. I know you thought you were done with them, but we're not. We're going on to reverse flies. Knees are slightly bent. Hinge slightly over at the hips so you can look down towards the floor. Arms hang right out of the shoulders. We're lifting the elbows high towards the sky. Imagine yourself taking off your coat, right? So you're opening up the arms. We're squeezing the shoulder blades behind us. If you can imagine if someone put a pencil on your back, you wanna hold on to that pencil. Really important in this position is to watch the core. So I don't wanna see you like this, right? With the buns up, abs are engaged, tailbone is going down. And then you can gaze down toward the floor or you can keep looking at me in the TV screen or your phone, whatever you're watching me on. Yeah, keep going. We're almost there. If for some reason you feel like these weights just aren't heavy enough, we have more rounds to do so you can pick up a heavier option. Yeah, keep going. I like it. And last one, rest. Go ahead and put those weights down. No, just kidding, don't do that. Let's keep the weights in our hands because we're doing for good morning. See, I was excited. I thought you had a break, but not yet. So arms are up, arms by our side, weights are on the shoulders, hinge at the hip. And you were saying, good morning, bowing down and back. So I'm literally moving from my hip. Notice not from my waist. This is from your waist. This is not what we're doing. We're moving from the hip. I'm pushing the hips backwards towards the room behind me and I'm reaching out through the crown of my head. Again, as always, you're gonna hear me say it a thousand times, pull your belly to your spine. Keep the knees softly bent and just take it down and up. This is a great workout for the hamstrings and for the booty. You got it, almost there. Last few seconds together. Good. Ready and rest. Now you can put those weights down. Go ahead and give them a break. Grab your water, grab your towel, get yourself ready for the second round. So for those of you that know the deal, 60 second break here, and then we're moving on to round two, and you gotta complete three more rounds total. For those of you that wanna challenge yourself, awesome. Take it up a notch, keep on working through as many rounds as you can get through, or maybe shorten the break in between rounds. So from 60, go to 45, 45, go to 30. Okay, I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started again. In five, four, three, two, let's go. Round two. <laughs> 